because you have to have a an explanation pronoun for every single category, which is impossible, right? Welcome back. What a way to start. So, episode two, for those watching this on YouTube, thank you very much. And uh, sorry about the first upload. I realized it got stuck on 360p. I thought it was going to update to 1080p, so I'll have to take it down and put it back up again. But I'll make sure they go up on 1080p in future. So, this is my crib. This is where I live. Not bad, is it? I mean, imagine, like, how rich is this guy? You just come over to a dorm and it looks like this. Like, someone has splashed some cash here. That's really cool. It's all animated paintings. I think that's a... Uh, there's so much magical stuff in the Harry Potter universe. That's why it was so successful. Because the films did a really good job, I think, of... Um, uh, yeah, you can't see. That's the mirrors. Video games and mirrors are quite tricky. Maybe it's not supposed to, though. I think that was a Harry Potter thing, wasn't it? Looking in the mirror. It's kind of scuffed. But the whimsy world is something else. Hmm, do we go up or do we go down? It seems to suggest up, so... Although now, because it's suggesting up, I'm going to go down. You can't tell me what to do. Are all the doors locked? No, this is someone else's apartment, so we're just going to break into their room. Although it's probably going to look almost identical to mine, except it doesn't have the dude floating. Can I take their stuff? Is this a looter game? You go around looting stuff. Pick locking chests. This is me. This is who I identify as in the game. Rah. I can't really run too much. Ah, oh, there we go. Chudley cannons. Ah, oh, there is a chest! Oh my gosh, I called it. Level 3 lock. So we can't get that, but maybe later. We have to learn how to uh, steal. I think I can put the game volume back up, actually. It's just tricky, because when you get those action scenes, then the, the volume is super loud. You won't hear what I say. I think that's just what we have to deal with. Do you know what I mean? It'll just have to be something you have to accept, almost. But when it's very ambient like this... Oh, that's the best thing to do. <laughs> you go in all the toilets and just... you got to press the um, sprint button every single time as soon as you stop sprinting. To restart it again, which is a bit tricky. Right, little mischievous tinker, in you, Harry Potter. I'm going to turn on all the taps as well. The wet bandits. Can't go in there, so I can't have a bath, unfortunately. I can't show that off. The wet bandits is from Home Alone, yes. That's what the uh, notorious duo were called. I'm doing Slytherin stuff. Yeah, I'm a Ravenclaw. I would, I'll probably play the character like a Slytherin, but I thought the Ravenclaw was a pretty accurate description of who I actually am. That was my room, wasn't it? I think. Are you allowed to go into both bathrooms for men and women? I don't know how they've done that actually. Whether they're just you. How you don't get told off for doing that? Or you're actually allowed to do that? <laughs> this should be interesting. A lot of video games normally won't let you attack when you're in sort of um, docile areas. They don't like me. They're judging me. I don't know why they're judging me though, to be fair. Seems out of order. Can you guys I hear the game alright? in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cosy. 
Disney is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to Good meet enough. you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwild Potion? It is! Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about Wiganwild Potion. Of course! I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory, it seems to know a lot about practical magic. He's quite knowledgeable. I wouldn't really know. I wouldn't. I don't he care. did teach me a few things before term, but that's all I can tell you. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wigan Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Nice talking with you. Isn't it Apple Puffles who like plants? Yeah. Apple Puffles are the ones that you always take the piss out of. Do most students grow their own ingredients? An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. What gender is my character? I don't know. I don't. Nice talking with you. Do most students grow their own ingredients? Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our <laughs> yes. herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, yes, encourages my character it. Is yes. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your ditany. Thank you. And good luck I think to my you character too on your first day. It's more an, um, non-binary and insert five other different catchphrase buzzwords. Well, I don't find her it doesn't play by the rules. It's, you can't be locked into your construct of what oh, an actual gender is. That's just brilliant, Amit. Brilliant. You'd think you could... Ah, why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Yes, yes, I would. I'm going to get pink eye now. Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. So the Ravenclaw are like the smart ones, are they? So close to a dragon before. They're like the nerds. Can't say I recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. Never been one I'm for starting. I'm not much from I always just shut people down. Enough to worry about on the ground. Well, you should know that all fifth years must take astronomy. However, I think you will feel differently after one night up on the tower. A quality telescope can show you things you never Is dreamed of. Is he coming of. on to me? I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Yeah, I'm wondering if I should have played in Slytherin now. These all these are all too nice, these people. <laughs> this should be interesting. It's cool though that there's like four different clans What's or something. This? So you could get different playthroughs. Uh, what is this? It's someone threw a dumb box. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Maybe the that guy that was right quite next to you. The reaction I wanted. Oh well. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. It's just a prank. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm looking forward to my first day. Yeah, I'm, I'm ambitious. I'm glad and... to be here. Ready for classes to start. Let's go. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. <laughs> Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Oh, there's a ghost. Hey there, new Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You would best not keep her waiting. Are you talking to me? It's that new fifth year. 
wonder where they're from. I can't imagine starting new school. So I wonder how much it changes, like, um, your experience playing in a different faction, like Slytherin and whatnot. Because it'd be kind of fun to be around the Slytherin if they're all arseholes all the time. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have you can't one change first factions day now, can at you? Hogwarts. I'm in now, it now. Now, in light I? of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with no. your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. What is it? Here you are. You can show off mirrors in ray tracing. I don't know if I got that. That might be the case why it doesn't show for me. I'm surprised I can honestly stream this and it's not like lagging or something. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Okay, I suppose all Slytherins can't you, be evil. It's just that one kid. What do you mean it will keep track of what I learned? a bad influence. Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me, and we shall put it to the test. Let's walk, shall we? This way. Yeah, the, no, it's not too bad being not necessarily the with the Slytherins, because then I get more confrontation with them. Magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. See, this bit's a bit laggier, but that's okay. It's not too bad. It's only in certain sections it might be a bit like this. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this Revelio. bust and see what details the field guide can provide? The bust, created in honor of Ravenclaw House, resides in the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenge appears here. So up at the top left is it. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Okay, let's let's, let's take a look. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Collecting your first page guide unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Collect two field ga uh, guide? <laughs> guide pages in Hogwarts. One out of two. So we've got one. Now we need a second one. And then you get a gear appearance reward. Okay. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. So if I press J, that's my quests. So you got to attend your first day. Question mark, question mark, question mark. It's like chat. <laughs> Profit. There's my gear. So this is where you uh, upgrade stuff. I don't think I can take that off, can I? Oh, you can. So you've got health, defense, and offense. We'll probably put all our points into offense if we can. Inventory is beasts, quest items, notes, and resources. Collections are tools. So magical plants and such. Enemies. Oh, this is stuff you've come across in the game, I think. Revelio pages. And there's the challenge that we've taken a look at. You've got a map. So that shows the castle and the points of interest. Flu Flames location. We're at the Grand Staircase. 
And there's collection chests to work on. One of those I think might have been at the bottom, actually. The Grand Staircase. And this is us. We're here. You can zoom up and down. You can change the map. So that's coming out of the area. So you're going to be doing some adventuring beyond this castle. And you can rotate by holding down the left mouse button. Looks pretty good. This game is on Steam, yes. And there was one other thing, wasn't there? Clever, isn't it? It is rather clever. Oh yeah, it's the quests. And then we've got our settings. Inventory map quests. So if you just press S, you get this. And we've got talents, which is going to be where you start building your up your character, maybe, and choosing abilities. Like that, inside and outside of the castle. So you can interact with the paintings a little bit. No time to waste. Your classes to attend. Well, I mean, if there's no time to waste, why are you walking so slow? Is this a World of Warcraft escort quest? You've been practicing. Practicing walking. So you got to do some math on that one to get inside of there. Oh boy! I'm so excited! Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Ah. Uh -huh. Divided into two main areas, the left side of the map is where the students and professors live. and includes the House Commons room and the Great Hall. So... In this view, you can see the few flames available in that region. Green represents flames you have discovered, including your own house, common room. Grey reveals the location of undiscovered. The right side of the map is where you will find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the library annex region to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central flu. Hall flu flames for you. <laughs> Use SF to rotate the map and fast travel with the central hall flu flames with space. So we go central halls and then space. Just going to straight up teleport. Flu flames. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You yeah. can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Cool. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Can you tell me more about Charms class? Let's what get some will info. I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard. And a talented Sounds teacher. like she's got the hots for him. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. That's true. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. 
You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. What's a butterbeer? Ale for kids. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. And you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival. This specifically us? about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I know why. It's because one of the people that was responsible for that attack that hit us is in this castle. And he doesn't want to give up too much information. Because otherwise they'll come and get him. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. There he Speak is. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare... Aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. Hmm. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. I feel like the uh, the character development is very today. good. Like the and remember to use authoritative your field nature of this character, it will for example. Be invaluable to you, and invaluable to She's me, believable. As I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come She's find brilliant, me Doctor in my Fig. Classroom after you've Professor Fig. Both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Alright, see you later, Missy. Well, did you see that? She just shoulder barged Professor Fig. She obviously doesn't like it's him. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Hmm. Do I tell him? Yeah, it's nothing. Don't worry yes, about it. Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster. She's gonna dob us it in. It would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. The game's pretty Happily, good so far. You have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley. Why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Please Unfold do. Unfold it and have a look. Get it out. Alright, so what are we doing here? Oh, what's going on? Some quests are locked by spell and level requirements. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments. Oh, we have to do work? Track a quest with... Okay, so these are quests. And track it with right-click. So, for example, Defense Against the Dark Arts is one of my quests, because that's one of my lessons. And Charms class, wasn't it? Ah. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. I see. This will be incredibly helpful. Yes, Thank that would you. be. 
Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. It's a busy day. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Okay, just one thing. Where's me settings? Just knock it down just a touch, I think. Just a touch. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I get so pedantic about it. Alright. The charmed compass will lead you to anything you're tracking. So we're going to the... Uh, the charms class, basically. Can I come through this door? No. So there's got to be another way to do it. If you're in a big area like this, then the game will be a bit harder to handle in terms of, like, my PC. I haven't got the latest PC. So, uh... But I'm still able to run it. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Flu powder, eh? Speaking of which, why don't I just teleport to my class? I assume I might be able to do that, but I doubt it. Because you probably have to travel, let's face it. Uh, if I bring up map, I wonder if I can get any more detail. Oh, you got side quests available too. Okay. See, I'm looking this way. I need to go back and then up and then round. It seems to be what it's suggesting. You can't sort of go inside of the castle. You kind of just got to go off a rough basis of what that map is showing. So yeah, I can't walk through here. You can get all sorts of clothing. Up we go. Well, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm at, at the point. I'm at question mark, question mark, question mark. How the hell do I get over there? This is the hardest part of the game. I'm like, literally like, it doesn't look like you can go up to get there. Surely you have to go through here, right? Maybe you have to go through here. Yeah, I can't interact with that. Oh! Okay. That's a scuffed door. It's like that door from that Vietnamese map earlier, the Six Hero Defense, where it just kind of like opened up after you use an ability rather than when you actually did everything properly you're supposed to do. Ah. Call you! <laughs> Fucking kill it. This place is massive. You could probably just spend a really long time looking around every little secret and such, but I'm probably going to concentrate mostly on the main quests. Revelio. Yeah. Revelio might reveal stuff as well. Like I say, there's so much. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! It was an accident! What was an accident? Right, I think this is it. Maybe. Nope, more toilets. <laughs> What's my character's pronouns? I don't know. Z at the moment, it seems. I shan't tell. Certainly suits. Z E Z. Zay. Oh, there's more toilets. I'm so close, yet I'm so far. Hmm. I was surprised. I thought what you might get is you might get like a little trail. You know, like a little, um, 
you can sort of see the dust particles that will push towards where you're supposed to go. What are you up to now? My pronouns are His Majesty. Yeah, His Royal Highness. One more flight of stairs. How do you do? Professor ah. Roman tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't Rebellion. necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Having a full conversation, she was. Let's do this. Is it possible to become an aura and not excel in potions? I think so, wouldn't you? It's all about so that's a half or isn't it? Being an aura, having a commanding stature. Oh. I think I shall be a force to be reckoned with. So you can walk oh. through them when you've got an animation so. ticking. From her side. I could be oh. like a ghost. Have you ever had a cauldron leak? I didn't think it was possible. And then one minute I was stirring, and the next I was swimming in Wolfsbane potion. Shark oh. almost threw his wand at me, I swear. Turned out I just spilled my flask. Wasn't my fault. You know, it does help to look at the thing while you're stirring. I wish we didn't have to use a dagger in potions. I'm not the least bit comfortable with it. I'm a doppelganger now. Crush with the flat side oh. of the dagger. Okay. Begin. I could have done one yeah. of the voices for the characters in this Behind game. They're all you. British. There is an open seat here. Actually, no, they're not. Thank you. I haven't said that. Hello, I am Natty. So right, Natty. you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. It right. seems really now, upbeat. everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it oh. is too late to study now. Wow. Mm. Now the head teacher My, hates the me. The seven now. months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. What's going down? Oh, okay. It's one of these, is it? Steady, with your wand. Okay, well, that's straightforward. We. Akio! Yoink. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember. Potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Potential Very to become good, the everyone. most evil That's character there is. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, the and Harry it is Potter. an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. It took me ages to get here, After and now you're me. taking us out? Well, that was a good class. I learned a lot from that. Expelliarmus. <laughs> it sounds like expelled. Yeah. I learned how to steal. Yeah, yeah you could look at it that way. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so... What better than a bit of sport 
to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> what is a joyful chirp? I guess that's a joyful chirp. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Yoink, let's go. So I've got to steal these balls. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish. Excellent control. Don't lose your go Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. I got but it. instead what of throwing cancer? the marbles out, you are. That's it! Splendid! Now what? Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. So you You'll gotta be the take turns, as before, okay. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Actually, which one am I? I'm red. No, way. I must be blue. Because I'm Ari. What's this? Can't I just pull her balls? Oh man, that's a BS. Oh, I need a bit more weight. Excellent. That is how it's done. Get you back for that. Let us see this. Well, that's not how you're going to do it. Yes! Wrecked. A perfect score. Remarkable. That's how you do it. Sliverin style without being a Sliverin apparently. A Maybe I'm a Sliverin insider. Like I've infiltrated the Raven Claw. What's this? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. Whew. Got some Dark Souls action going on here. The thing is, if I hit that ball, it's not probably going to knock it off. Unless I come at it with insane speed. But even then, I, I don't know. know. It's more likely going to hit it into the 50. Try not to be nervous. You are doing quite well. So I might not want to interfere with that one. I don't know. That's pretty hard to knock off. I can burn her. <laughs> Hang on a second. Not exactly your typical lesson, is it? Shut Not up, I'm might. trying to concentrate. Oh, I almost screwed that up. Luckily I let go there. Very good. Yeah. I'm just going to casually strut around the Here stage. Oh, yeah. I assume that if you play on the medium or that the easy difficulty, then she doesn't get such a high score. Because I'm playing on hard at the moment. Although I heard it's not really a hard game. Do not think I will start going easy on you now. I mean, you've been going pretty easy on me, to be fair. I might have gone too early there. That was close. <laughs> Brilliant. Jeez. It's right on the edge. Let us see this. this is kind of hard to predict unless you do it a whole bunch of times. Oh, you can keep pulling it even if it hits the thing. All right. Yes. 
I mean, I've already won. Maybe I should try to see... No, this is the downside. If I try to see if I can knock her ball in, I screw myself over. Plus, from that angle, it's more likely... I, 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 sort of, I did play a little bit of snooker in pool as a kid, but you could sort of see it hitting that red ball and then that's knocking my one off, so... I think we just play, play to win, not play to brag, especially not from that position. Two perfect rounds. You're a natural. That's how it's done, boys and girls. Very good, both Hello. of you. Well done. I mean, very good both of you, but I did better. Like, where's my reward? Should give me like a Snickers or a, a Mars bar or something. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. You sure good showed me up earlier. That. I'm going to get I you. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right Took when I transferred minutes. here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? Wagadu. <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. I feel it's like my character just doesn't like, like people it's when, when they're talking to of them. It's the moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Like, look at my character. They look so pissy. They just look so... like they hate you. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did you remember have to when I used to, to pick the most asshole right answers here. on my Walking Dead? Have yeah, if you haven't seen my Walking Dead playthroughs, I've done those before. You can kind of get an idea as to how I typically play. Right, but I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone uses one. Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. All right. I don't even want to say thank you. I just want to, like, can I get out of this conversation? Just, like, walk away. I think I have to. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to so be here So if you played Slytherin, would you get more evil ah, options in the I dialogue? I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Because that's what's making me wonder there as well. Keep him waiting. If I could just walk Until away. Until next time. Would a Slytherin say thank you? I don't know. Of they course. Would. You can use Akio. A word, hands, if you would, if you're so inclined. What does this one want? Well, after my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Thanks for that. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. If he gets the same. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor. 
though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Uh-oh. A special assignment for me only? From my professor? What will that involve? He wants to meet me in his quarters to address this special assignment at nine in the evening. Level two quests. So I got to attend the defense against the dark arts class. That's next on the list. So we're ticking that one. So if we came out and I went to map, has it automatically logged onto it? I think it has. I'm going to assume that Yes, that's probably leading to where it's supposed to be. So if I've leveled up, what else can I do with that level? Because normally you would get something, right? So not gear. Like up here, you can see your level 2. But if I click on it, I can't get anything as far as I can tell. Feel free to... Oh, there we go. I think this might have unlocked. Ah. So I've got, I've got some gloves. Gear appearance reward. It says gear appearance though. Does it change my stats? Or it's just an alternative look for my gloves. So you want to keep checking your challenges and tick these off. Make sure you're working on those. Yeah, unlock the talents. That's when it kicks in. So if I go to my gloves, the item has no magical properties, but you can sell it for 30. So you can sell stuff in this, so it's kind of like an RPG in that regard. You can buy and sell stuff, maybe. I don't see how to change the, um, the look of them, though. Change appearance. Okay, now I do. So there's my collection. So, is there any difference between those two? There's no difference. Oh, there is a tiny difference. <laughs> well, there you go. I've unlocked a slight mesh look to my gloves. We did it. <laughs>